Hi, how are you doing? In this video, we're going to explain how to create the application we're having here, uh, Chase Angry Bird. When we click Run and click Let's Play, we're having an Angry Bird and a background here. Uh, your task is to click only on the Angry Bird. If you clicked anywhere outside or other than the Angry Bird, it's game over. When you click the Angry Bird, he will change his location. Okay. And when you click here, it's game over. Our program consisted of main three screens. Screen number one is the home page, the one we're having here. Okay. And the second one, the game uh, screen, and the last one, the game over screen. Okay, on the welcome screen, we're having like the title of the game and um, a clear description of the game. Click the angry bird, don't click the background, or it's game over. Then we're having a button with let's play. When we click on let's play, it will open the second uh, screen, game over, uh, sorry, um, game screen. Okay, and when we click uh, on the background, it will open the game over screen. And here we have game over and back to home page. Step number one will be clicking create and create an app lab project. Rename the project, okay, to be your name, slash, try Mr. 2 project. Uh, this is the format for renaming the project of try Mr. 2. Try Mr. 2 project. And click save. We're going to uh, create our application on two parts. Part number one will be the designing part and part number two, the code. Here we are in the code mode. Okay. Click design to switch to the design mode where we're having the design toolbox. And here we're having the access for the properties and for the events. First of all, we need to add the title. Okay. Here. Uh, chase angry bird so from the toolbox i'm going to place a label here okay and from the text i'm gonna type my title okay so here we have the first label okay we can move it here, move it, uh, I mean by selecting and moving, or we may change the X and the Y position. And from here we can resize it, or we can change the width and the height. I'm going to use the mouse for changing the height. I need to change the font size. So from here, I'm going to make it like 30. This is too big, so I'm going to make it like 20. Okay, this is fine. And we may change the color to be black. Okay. And then we need the other one. This one. I'm going to copy the text. And from here, I'm going to place another label. Okay, and in the text property, I'm going to paste my text and resize it. Okay, and then change the text color to be black. And I'm going to change the size to be like uh, 16, for example. Uh, finally, we need the button here. Let's play. Okay, so... And by the way, we may change the font style from here. Okay. Or I'm 
I'm going to add a button from here and change the text of the button to be let's play and change the color of the button to be red okay and I need to change the programming name or the ID of the of the button text property what will be displayed on the button the ID will be the programming name I'm gonna use in doing my code I'm gonna make it let's play remember no spaces are allowed so we may separate them using underscore and underscore is the only allowed simple so let's play button this is the programming name of the button we're having here then we need to change the screen name and instead of screen one i selected the name uh, from here uh, on the right side we're having uh, like a drop down menu screen one and instead of screen one i'm gonna name it welcome screen welcome underscore screen then we're ready for the second one from here screen on uh, screen two uh, we're gonna change it to be game screen game underscore screen then we're going to add two images one will represent the background and the other one will be for the angry bird so from here place an image and from the image property choose upload i already downloaded two images one for the background and um, another one uh, representing angry bird so from here choose and we're going to resize our image to fill uh, the entire screen okay this is fine then i'm gonna add the bird by placing an image here and from the image property i'm going to upload another one which is the bird choose okay i may resize this one a little bit okay this is fine then we're going to create the third screen from the toolbox drag a screen and place it here change its name to be game underscore over and uh, from here we're gonna add a label with game over okay place it here and in the text property it should be game over okay we're going to change the size to be like 30 this time it should be okay select it again mm, in red okay and we're going to add here uh, a button for returning to the home page okay uh, on the text property it will be try again we may change the background color of the button to be red or we can make it green change its size okay now we're ready for the coding part so click here to switch to the code mode okay but, but we didn't change uh, the the name of the button the programming name the id i'm gonna name it try underscore again underscore button 
okay so switching to the code mode for start the coding from the welcome screen when we click on let's play it should open the game screen so from the ui controls tab okay drag on event the event here will be clicking on the button which button change the id to be let's play okay when we click the let's play this one what will happen we're gonna set screen on which meaning open screen what's the name of the screen it will be the game screen so this is for the events on screen number one or the welcome screen run to see what do we have okay then uh, for screen two when we click the image of the bird okay uh, he will change its location and when we click the background okay uh, the um, we, we're gonna move to the game over so when we click here uh, he will change his place and when we click uh, the background image we're going to move to uh, the game over screen uh, we didn't change the ids of the game so i'm gonna change their ids first uh, game screen this one instead of image sex i'm gonna make it background underscore image background underscore image and for the bird it will be bird underscore image okay from the code here uh, again from ui controls on event when we click background image click it will open game over screen so set screen okay sorry set screen to game over screen and we need another on event when we click the bird on event change the id to be uh, bird image okay on event bird underscore image click what will happen we're gonna set position this one set position to change the position of the angry bird which uh, object we're gonna set its position it will be the image itself which is the bird underscore image okay here we need to add the x value and the y value so um, as we had an uh, introduction to programming if we need to have different values we're gonna use random number from math by setting a minimum value and a maximum value and every time the program will run he will take a random value between the minimum and the maximum so from random number we're gonna place a random number here from one to like um, make it uh, 300 and the other one will be from one to 300 to move anywhere through the screen uh, the 100 we're having here and the 100 we're having here if you wish to change the width and height meaning to change the size of the bird itself by changing the width and the height okay we don't need them so we're going to hide them we need only the x value and the y value run to see what do we have here let's play click he will change his place okay and if we click here if we click here it's game over and here we're having try again 
we need to make the code for the third screen uh, the code for uh, the button try again when we click on it it will open the home page so reset and from UI controls again on event okay the ID now will be the try again button when we click on it what will happen we're gonna open screen or set screen on the welcome screen here run let's play okay if I click here it's game over click try again we are on the home page now we're gonna add um, like a sound effect when we click on the um, uh, the bird on the second screen just click let's play I want to have like a sound effect when I click the bird here so on the event of bird image when we click on it I'm gonna add a play sound okay from here and from the drop down menu here click choose and select any sound effect you need like this one so when we click here we may add another one for the screen so again place out from here place it here on the image underscore background and from here we're going to add another one And when we click here okay this is all about the chessing angry bird game thanks for watching